I'm on my way up to Los Angeles right now, fighting traffic, because Louis Vito is on the premiere of Dancing with the Stars. This is his first night dancing. This is the first night of the show. Apparently the figures are estimating 300 million viewers or something ridiculous like that. And I have never wanted anyone to win Dancing with the Stars more than t never actually watch Dancing with the Stars. Never actually recall me liking dancing. But anytime that one of your friends is going to be on a TV show that's on primetime and he thinks he actually knows how to ballroom dance, the only way that could get funnier to me is if he actually crapped himself on stage. And once he finds out that there's 300 million people watching, there's a pretty good chance he will. And I'll be there to videotape it. Who uses videotape? I mean, really, the whole Dancing with the Stars thing to me with Louie just kind of seems like some bad would-you-rather scenario. Like, would you rather be on Dancing with the Stars or sit on a cactus for a week? I told him the other day that doing Dancing with the Stars it's pretty much like the same thing as doing X Games, except when you drop into your pipe run, you're nude. So apparently, I've already blown it. I didn't read the little memo that Louis sent me in my email, and it said that I need to dress elegant, elegant, elegantly. I needed to have a jacket and a tie, and I basically showed up with jeans and a t-shirt, so I stopped off at Quicksilver and got a, uh, a nice shirt and a pair of pants, but uh, no jacket, no tie, so hopefully they still let me into this gig. And apparently you can't bring cameras in there either. That's really going to be a drag. Let's see what happens. We are, uh, we're heading to Louis' trailer. There he is. That's badass. Tell me a story. I don't know, man. I've just been shaking my rear end on the dance floor. You know, doing a little salsa, a little fox shot. Can I get another move? Give me a move. Small move. Oh, okay, there you go. You don't need to fog my land. Grab a picture of all of us together. Yeah? Are you going to sell vacuums when we're done? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, come here. Get in here. Are we on film? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, technically. Right. Toddcast, you're in it. Toddcast. Let's see, where did you hit your mark? Were you above expectations, below expectations? Well, I'm always hard on myself. I, I was happy I did it, but then I stumbled twice. I'd like to congratulate you on your new look. <laughs> Sleeveless snowboard wear is, is all the rage. How did he do? He Seriously. Like, all right. It's like, it's a really hard thing to do ballroom dancing. You know, when you come from like such a like dude atmosphere and uh, get in tight pants and, and right. shake your hips. Louis doesn't wear tight pants. He's usually more comfortable in a tall tee. I don't know if you know, noticed that. Okay. Know. Do you feel uncomfortable not in being in a tall tee right now? Let me see those shoes. Are you wearing heels? No, I, I, cause I flipped you. Oh, I got, I got oh, out of that. Oh. Technicality. You gonna go clubbing now and show off your new moves? All right, Chris. I would like your reaction to Louis. Actually, no, to George Hamilton who's standing right there. Tan as hell. Too tan to trust. Keep off the judges' yeah. platform. All right, so that was Louis's big dancing debut. I'd just like to say that Louis far exceeded my expectations. I'm backstage right now. Oh, look. Johnny Osmond. My mom loves him. I think I might love him. Jesus Christ. I can't believe I came to this.